Okay, so I just received my drop brackets that I ordered from Central Parts Warehouse. This uh, works for the Western Ultra Mount and I guess the Snow X snow plows, their mounts. So uh, here they are. Supposedly they are a five inch drop. They slide in to the mount and then you put your original brackets, you slide your original brackets into that, dropping the whole thing five inches. Uh, they look pretty beefy, guys. They look like they were manufactured uh, right along the mount that uh, Western makes. So pretty happy with these. Uh, I think tax and everything, they're around 230 bucks. So not too bad. They're, they were on sale, I guess. They were pretty spendy. Um, according to the the price sheet, but uh, two thirty isn't bad, I don't think, for what these are. Uh, if I would have to make something like this, I mean, you're talking easily a couple days for me to make something like this, and I don't have unlimited time to do stuff, guys. I got a long list of stuff to do, other things. Okay, so I got the the mounts or the receivers, ultra mount receivers into the mounts on the truck. And we're 14 inches from the ground. So these brackets here are supposed to be five inch drop brackets. So we should be around nine inches off the ground. Which sounds about right. I think we should be uh, where we need to be. The brackets fit really nice. This is the first time they've gone on. They fit just like uh, just like a factory piece, so really uh, glad to see that. One thing I am a little concerned about is there's more movement now. You know, there was just one pinned adapter, now there's two. So there's a little more movement in that. But um, once it's together, it should be locked and there should only be a little bit of movement there. So, I don't know, we'll find out, I guess. So, if we measure now, we are nine inches, guys. So, they say it's a five inch drop, and it is exactly, it drops the, the brackets five inches. So, we're nine inches off the ground. This looks, this looks like uh, where we need to be. So I guess the next thing we gotta do is we gotta hook up the plow.
no headlight on the plow. Well, there it is guys, midnight with the plow. Got a few issues I'm gonna have to deal with. Uh, one, you can see the plow, there's, there's more space here than there. I've got the shoes dropped down because last year uh, we had some, some snows when the ground was soft, so I dropped the shoes down. So that's kind of why it's up off the ground, but it's it's, further off the ground in the center than it is out to the edge and that is because this frame here has to be adjusted you can see it's angled upward uh, this frame this frame right here needs to be parallel with the ground so I've got to take this bolt take it out and I got to go into the center one I think meaning I got I to gotta loosen this one take this one out, jack the plow up, and there's another bolt hole. I gotta move it over here. That'll level the, the plow out with the ground. I think uh, if I just go with the middle one, I'll be all right. Uh, there's the drop brackets. Everything hooked up fine. Didn't really have any issues there. Uh, one thing about these plows, you can see the massive space that we have between the, the plow frame and the truck. Uh, there's a good three inches they could have brought the, the, the plow closer to the truck. I'm not sure why they do that. Uh, when you got a thousand pounds out in front of you, you know, moving the plow three inches closer, it can make a big difference. So I don't really understand why this plow is so far away from the truck. But um, one another thing I thought I was going to have with a lifted truck and plow and I thought I was going to have more space, more clearance to the ground but with these drop brackets I've, I've pretty much lost everything that uh, I've gained with the lift. So that's kind of a bummer because when I raised it up, when I raised the, the, the plow up all the way and I put it in complete V, uh, these, these are real close to the ground again. I remember my nine my 9.6 pretty much drug on the ground when it was uh, full V. So that's kind of disappointing because I thought maybe I might run my wings on this truck. This, this is a 2500 HD, should actually be able to handle that, but um, I don't know. Uh, I guess it's pretty much uh, in the same spot as uh, a normal plow would be. Uh, it's just as low. So I gotta make those adjustments. Oh yeah, and uh, I've got no low beams on the plow. Uh, I think I gotta swap the, I gotta swap the plugs, turn them around uh, on the low beams. I'll have to play with that and uh, see this, this harness should be for 2002 and I had it working on my dually so uh, I, think, I think I just got to swap the plugs around. So I'm going to get to doing all these adjustments. And, um, well, I'll uh, get this plow dialed in.
this is what you want guys it's uh pretty level it is it isn't perfect but uh you ain't gonna get it perfect because you only got three options this is really close uh, and when that being level to the ground you get a level you get a level blade you can see how nice that is all the way across there again I got my shoes on which is holding the blade up a little bit so that's uh, it's about as good as you're gonna get this thing fought me a little bit uh, you do have to pry on the blade and and, and pry it uh, this way and that way to get those bolts out okay so some people might be asking why do you want this uh, level to the ground well if you don't have it level to the ground in your in your blade your cutting edge uh, isn't level across there you're going to have premature wear on either this side or that side so you want this level all the way across there whether it's in v straight or scoop uh, if your frame is not level to the ground you're going to have premature wear on your cutting edge and trust me guys that cutting edge is not cheap uh, you want to be able to run that as long as you can uh, before you have to replace it okay so I figured out the lighting problem on here and what I had to do is I had to flip these plugs 180 degrees and what do I mean by that is you unplug them these are the adapters on the harness and you have to unplug these and you have to flip them 180 degrees and then plug them back in these are made to be flipped they can go either way I've already flipped it so uh, it actually says A on this side with the thin clips so you want all of them on the A side okay so after I flip them 180 degrees uh, the high and the low beams uh, the plow lights worked but the truck lights didn't work and what I forgot to do was these plugins right here that actually go into the truck lights I forgot to flip those so you have to actually flip those too uh, it might not be so important if you have regular uh, halogen headlights but since I have LED headlights um, I gotta flip these plugs and uh, you can flip them uh, just you know like, like, like the other plug like the Western Harness plug you can just flip them 180 degrees uh, sometimes you can't do that uh, because uh, these plugins have different grooves and stuff. Sometimes they don't allow you to flip the, the plugin. So what you need to do is you need to go in here and you need to unhook uh, these these plugs. You got there's a little deal you got to press, and you can pull out the. pull out these wires like that and you have to trying to do this and keep it in the camera it's not always the easiest thing to do but anyway you gotta take it out and then you're gonna put it in the other side and you can see that one's not staying in so I have to you gotta take your little tab here and bend it back up I pushed it down too far hopefully this is the one it goes into Then you take your other one, stick it in the other side. And basically it's just like flipping it 
180 degrees in the plug, only you're doing it you're doing it with the prongs instead of actually flipping the plug. So anyway, this should work. Okay, so with all of the plugs rotated and the wires switched around, I've got headlights. On the truck, I got low beams, high beams, and then when I hook the plow wiring up, I've got low beams and high beams. So I'm all ready to go. Okay, so that's going to do it, guys. Everything is uh, adjusted. Uh, the way it should. I am going to uh, test drive the truck. I don't have any super springs or anything on this. I may have to order super springs or timbrins. Um, I gotta drive it first before I decide that. Um, another thing that is happening that I've noticed uh, after I hooked it up is uh, I'm still rubbing a little bit on the on the bumper there which kind of irritates me because I rub even without the plow on. I keep cutting a little more and a little more but it still won't stop rubbing. I uh, believe I got it stopped rubbing without the plow on but with the plow on when I came over here I heard a little bit. Um, it irritates me because this six inch lift was supposed to be able to run 35 inch tires. Well I'm running 35 inch tires and I'm still rubbing the bumper so um, like I said, kind of irritates me a little bit, but it is what it is. I got to clearance it out because you can't have the tires rubbing. I don't have any ballast in the truck right now. I need to get my, my weight back there. That will counter the, the weight of the plow some. So I may, I may have trimmed enough. I'm not sure. Like I said, I got to kind of run this thing, feel it out, and we'll see. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this one. I got to do some uh, testing and playing with this setup, just like I do every other setup I've done. Got to tweak it a little bit here and there. But, um, yeah, I guess, guys, I'll see you.